So I gotta say one more thing though, bro. It's about it's about Jokic, man. I was just thinking about it because listen, I think people we're talking about a little bit off yeah. cams. I think I made a. I think people weren't understanding what I was saying, bro. All I was saying is that top ten list. Jokic isn't the best player in the world. He's not. I'm no, sorry. we both agree he's not the best player in the world. I have to. I can't not give it to Giannis. No, he's such a better, much better. Defender. All I was trying to say is, Jokic isn't doing like. For example, if you put Joel Embiid in the on the Denver Nuggets with that same exact team, you're trying to tell me Joel Embiid's not gonna have a ring by now, bro? Come on, man. I think he could have a ring. I'm not saying it's not even a could. If no, you, I think it's a could. If you, it might. He might even have more than one ring. Murray, Murray, and um, and B could be like Kobe and Shaq. They could. That might be a stretch, but it has potential. Yeah, they too. could. That's all. And and Jokic and Murray aren't that dynamic. I mean, yes, granted, they are not in the Kobe, pick and roll. Not Kobe and Shaq, bro. No, 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 not Kobe and Shaq. But the thing is, like, I just think people still underrate Jokic's passing and how it's, effective it's, I'm it not makes the it's team. Not effective, no, but I'm but saying. The way the team runs, I don't think it would run the same. I don't think you would get the same out of your role players if you didn't have that always knowing in the back of your mind at any moment I could cut and receive a pass from Jokic and Nuggets. Like I just think it adds way too much to their team, and I think it gets the role players involved in a way but, that it wouldn't if you had Joel Embiid, who's kind of like the type of guy where once you feed him the ball, it's like. But I can make a counter that if you have hypothetically Joel Embiid and Murray playing together, Murray would probably take more of a point role. Murray would be probably doing what Jokic is doing because that's what a point guard but is can supposed he to do. do. That? I'm not gonna can, lie. Will he do it as eventually at Jokic? Probably. I don't not. think it can but, make up for it to me. I don't know. Like, but I think it would still be enough because Jokic. I mean, Embiid's paint dominance yeah. and like the tools he has. And I'm sorry, a post fade. Jokic doesn't really have a post fade, bro. Yes, he does. No, it's not. I'm not oh, as efficient oh as. Oh my god! No, they're gonna kill you in the comments. No, for that. off one left. No, let me talk. I'm. He has it, but it's not as efficient as Joel Embiid. I'm gonna bro. be honest, bro. Joel Embiid Jokic is one of the most efficient players of all time. Joel Embiid. I'm just saying, Joel Embiid's paint uh, dominance and what his tools and his skill set. Is much superior to Joel, no, Nikola Jokic. Nikola Jokic. Oh, I'm, let me make this. Let me give a disclaimer. Nikola Jokic. Right now, right now, yo, yo, no, no. Right now, Jokic is a better player. Let me make that very clear. Okay. Jokic I is a better player. Okay, okay. Jokic okay. is. A, cause I have to make that very clear because people right. act like in the last one, I wasn't. I was trying to say Embiid's better. I thought that's what you were saying too. I'll, I'm just trying to make a comparison. Nah, if you nah, switch nah. the team. But we gotta think about it. These are the two best centers. So it's like. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to even because say. Yeah. To me, people are trying to disrespect Joel no, Embiid, Joel bro. Embiid is because right there with Joel Embiid him. hasn't had a valid crew going That's along with fact. him like Jokic has. That's a fact. James Harden has been his probably what his best supporting cast yeah. in the past few years, yeah. bro. Besides maybe Jimmy, Jimmy Butler, Butler back in the day, yeah. but where they ran into what the Celtics? You feel me? So yeah. if I'm all I'm saying is if you give Joel Embiid that defense, you give him a a great score like Jamal Murray, he's winning a chip, bro. No, I think he is. Like oh, okay, I'll say this. I think Joel Embiid does win a chip with the Nuggets, but I don't think he does it in the dominance that Jokic did it just because he's just so efficient. Like, he's never really going to have a shitter because he does so many things yeah, and he's, he's not so scoring, efficient. He can, he can pass yeah, I, I understand that. Jokic yeah. is great, bro. But, but I think it's like, it's, it's kind of like preference. Like, they're both on any given night could be the best big man. All so I'm going to say like, is. When they've gone head to head, Embiid's five and two. Against no, head to head, that is facts. Embiid has but... co- people want to ignore the facts. I've asked people in comments what has happened when they play each other. People just don't respond. Bro. That's a fact. Jokic has been outplayed by Embiid every time they played. That's, That's a, a fact. fact. That's a fact. And in my opinion, um, like I said, right now I'm, I'm still taking prior Jokic, but it's close though. It depends who's. On, it also depends who's on my team. Like yeah, if you put Jokic on the Philadelphia 76ers last season. I'm sorry. They're they're probably doing the, they might get beaten four against the Celtics. Because Maybe, yeah. you have to have good pieces to yeah, pass you to. Do. You do. And like you have you do have Maxi, but with James Harden's inconsistency, Tobias Harris's inconsistency, yeah. come on, man. And no, they don't that, and, that and, is they, a good and they don't that have the same point. defensive intensity that the Nuggets do. Yeah, so do. that's all I'm saying is that situations make are also like it's no, not just one player do. that makes a championship team. Yeah. Granted, you, you can say Jokic is the system of the Nuggets. That's fair. No, but he needs the role players to pass to to hit exactly. Shots. So yeah, exactly. that's, a, that's a great. So that's point. all. That's all I was trying to say. I, I don't think I explained it that well last time because people were on my head. In the nah, you're you're right. But, like it, it does depend on the situation. Also, yeah. I'm a big person that says situation matters. I don't care what anybody says. Like it does place a big factor when you compare players. But so that's a good point. Yeah. If y'all are wondering who I have over Jokic, I only have two people over him. That's all I have. 
only have Steph Curry over him and Giannis Antetokounmpo over him. If y'all are wondering, that's the only people I have over is Nikola Scary. Jokic right now. Nikola Jokic is great. I think as of right now, in his and he's is he is he over thirty? I think he's no. he's young. He's yeah, still young. He's, he's still, still he's, he's still has a lot to do. Really, I, like I have just him, hitting his prime prime. He's probably real. I probably have him top forty all time. Maybe even top thirty. He's yeah. up. I'll, I'll say yeah. top forty. I'll say top forty. Be safe. As of right now, he's on the track to be one of the best big men ever. He can be the best European player of all time. Yeah, I think he I, might already be. Honestly, he's up there. It's only other than him and Giannis. I think him and Giannis will be the two best European Giannis. players ever when they Giannis. retire. Giannis just had the only problem with Giannis. Giannis has to do with the Celtics every year, bro. He does, and like that's yeah. his only thing. But I had to clear that up real quick, man. Giannis will get back. Yeah, Giannis will probably be back to the time. At some point. some point, yeah, but... Yeah. And I'll yeah. probably win another, another MVP. Boston's going to be like... I don't even know who to compare him to, but Boston's going to be a pain in his ass. No, yeah, I think Jason Tatum like, and the Boston the, Celtics, I think they're going to always this, clash This is year. like... I, there hasn't, like, in the East for the past few years, there hasn't been, like, two like clear-cut yeah, teams that are, like, been. ahead of the pack. This That's is, what I was saying. This like, is actually crazy, bro. Because, yeah. like, you really you're already predicted they're going to play each other. Yeah. If they don't play each other, that will be sad. Unless some trades yeah. happen, like Harden. Unless, or if the Heat happen. The Heat just become the greatest team in but from a talent, history. But the talent, from a talent standpoint, no, the Heat talent. aren't close no, to either of them. Not even. You'd have to get, like, Embiid on the Heat or something wild, bro. Embiid on the Heat. Embiid and Bam would be the best front court. Oh, yeah. Like, in recent NBA history. Dominant, yeah. Bam, because Bam is already a little undersized as a center. Yeah. So having Embiid, bro, that would actually be nasty. Yeah, they'd be crazy. Nobody's stopping that. No. No, Literally nobody's stopping that. No, they'd be crazy. You wouldn't have enough big men to throw at both of them in the paint. Facts. Like, they would be so dominant in the paint. But... That's ready to wrap up Unlimited Sports Episode 5. Man, I had to get my Jokic concern get out the way. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, he had to clear the, the air on, clear, that, uh, clear, on that, clear. that take. Yeah, but you got anything else for you to say, my brother? Nah, man. Pretty much covered it all. We're cooking. We're cooking. Bro. Good week, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Almost at 2K, man. Love y'all, boys. Get that boy to 2K. Facts, man. We out.